Excuse me, please get the heck out the way. Excuse me, please get the heck out the way. Excuse me, please get the heck out the way. Godzilla mo, Godzilla mo, Godzilla too cold, too quick. We lit. Best channel, we sick. Took time for us to shine and drop down. Still time at the time, giving you mine. Plays for days, this is a craze. We love it, hot as the oven, still buzzing. Crazy crossed over, still hooping, still juking. Crazy step back, bang that track. Gotta pause, let's talk to you later, we'll be right back. Yo, what? Welcome back to Godzilla Mo, and today I got another great video for you guys. All right, now look, in today's video, I will be showing you guys uh, defense you guys probably haven't seen before, and out of a formation that looked familiar, but it's not, it's something new that they added this year. All right, now look, before we get into it, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and let's get right into the video all right if you guys want to support the channel and if you guys love all the content i am putting out uh patreon link is down below and i want to thank all you guys for supporting me and i love all of you guys thank you once again let's get right back to the into the video now we are in the cleveland browns um defensive playbook and it has this formation right here nickel wide so it's like nickel over but except the two outside linemen it's like all the way they, they're like spread it all the way out but then you can't pinch your inside dts which is like okay maybe it's like wow that's no i don't want to do that but you can easily shoot the run out of this defense but i'm gonna show you guys why this defense is really good and there's a play in here that's really like i won't say glitchy but it's like the it's a good play it's a good play so what you guys want to do first is go ahead and do your packages so your packages out here at the right state uh, at the bottom of your screen you want to it's gonna start out packages then you want to move it to the left uh left like three times four times and it should say ss1 inside and that's exactly what you guys want now next thing you guys want to do is go to coach adjustments you want to have this on on ball and air on play ball you want to have option defense on whatever you want i'm gonna have it on conservative and that's the only thing you guys want to have on your field now next thing you guys want to do is go to substitutions now you want to have safeties in the box right here unless your linebacker has lurker do not use linebackers all right now what i'm going to do I'm going to, I'm going to put ronnie harrison right there i'm going to go i'm going to go ahead and put another safety right here uh bell and then i'm going to, go to put make sure you put a cornerback where number 22 is at in the slot because when you do safeties inside it's going to move a safety into that corner position which you don't want all right now make sure you have your best dt i mean not dts but your best dbs in the game and your best lineman in the game so uh yeah boom everybody's in the game everybody where i want them i come up with him right there and then move him boom right there now we're good now the play is this play nickel blitz three all right this play is it's really good bro this play is really good now what you guys want to do is use the three right and what you guys want to do is go ahead and uh press right and the press um press uh y two times so uh y, press y two times and then no actually not y two times press y y and then put lb and you want to put him on that outside third and then this is recent put x and the hard flat that's all you guys have to do even if they quick snap you that's only adjustments you guys need to do right there now now this thing you guys want to do is go ahead and pinch your d line like this and then wait for them to snap the ball now i do recommend you put a user in the zone and that user and like put your user right here so your um in case, just in case they do run the ball you guys won't be um you guys will be able to shoot the gap to stop the run but you guys see right there look at that defense bro let's go to instant replay watch it right here he's going to snap it now actually i'm gonna run left because i know there's no zone like right there but uh, you guys see right here watch it just watch the middle field nothing's going to be open you guys are going to be good and that's an easy sack right there now you guys see right here if even if you did want to throw this it's not going to be open and you guys see right here watch this now watch my boy um ronnie harrison i mean martin Mar emerson off the edge right there boom he's going to be there and then county and then that's an easy sack for you guys all right now another thing you guys can do which i do recommend is um go ahead and put x in a soft squat instead of a hard flat and the reason why just in case they do run like a slant route or like a uh, a route wherever it is he's going to match onto that route until it gets like five yards away from it he's going to run back to his zone that's another thing i do recommend you guys uh can do they put an outside third for lb right there boom and then that's all you guys want. oh actually press rb guess pass too that's nothing you guys want to do so that way that the pass rushing and the blitz will come in even faster so watch the field watch the field 
I'm watching middle field. Nothing's going to be open in a sack. It's going to come in once again. All right. Now, nothing you guys can do is go ahead and just press again. Right. And then, well, actually, you can flip it. All right. This is another thing you guys can do is now this is nothing I do recommend is running this play to the to the side where the halfback is on. So if the halfback is on that right side of the field, run this play to that side of the field. Now, what you guys don't want to do uh, right here is you want to just put B in a hard flat, but then back him up. So press Y, uh, I think it's Y, Y, then press B, and then back him up, and then put him in a hard flat. And then what you guys want to do is put A in a outside third to the right. And this is the only thing you guys want to do. And then you press slant inside RB, guest pass. Now watch, watch the blitz right here. Watch the blitz. You guys are going to be good. Watch the blitz. Nothing's going to be open. Now, people did run into each other right there. But you guys seen the blitz still came in. And that was perfect defense. So, let's watch it again. Watch this. He's going to snap the ball. Boom. Now, you guys see the flat route right here. See the flat route not going to be open because the curl flat. And then you guys do see. This is a hard flat right This is a hard flat. But he's just going to match onto this guy. Because I did back him off. Now, if there's no route underneath, he's just going to stay right here with this route. And just guard this route. And then you guys see right here, um, Jonathan Taylor. But by the time he... By the time you even get open right there, the sack will be there. You guys will be good, all right? So this defense is one of the um, underrated ones. You guys don't see it um, on the field. But I do recommend running this to the side where the hatback is at and doing what I just showed you guys. And make sure you do guess pass, all right? If your opponent um, isn't moving the ball and he, you know, he's not running the ball and he's just passing, guess pass because what that's going to do, basically what it's going to do is it's going to um, help the pass rusher get uh, come in even faster than what it already Already is now another thing is I do want to recommend another thing is it's pinching your D-line but you can't you have press left hand D pass pinch but the, the, the DTs are not going to pinch but they're not they're not going to do that all right just the two outside guys and another thing is have your user in the zone because when they do um basically you're going to get underneath interception so basically if they do throw like a D ball like right I say see my users at if you throw the ball right here and I'm right here I'm going to be able to get that interception from right here because my user is in the zone he's not blitzing so that's another thing you guys want to do so as wait for him to snap the ball boom you guys are good you guys are good watch the halfback nothing's going to be open and that's a D line pick and you guys are good so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video peace